Greetings everyone, this is Jim Todd with Song Surgeon and in this weekly video tip we're going to show you how you can grab any audio, whether it's only an audio file or whether it's a video file, but any audio that is playing on a web page on the internet. So just for starters here, let's back up a half a step and just remind you that if you have Song Surgeon Pro, you're able by using the sniffer module here to either use the YouTube sniffer or the main sniffer. And the YouTube sniffer can grab anything from YouTube. The main sniffer can grab files from other websites. But in many cases, you'll find websites in which you cannot grab what it is that you hear playing by using the sniffer module functionality. So the way you can do that in the pro version or the pro model of Song Surgeon is to use the record function. And we're going to show you how to do that right now. Essentially, what you're going to be doing, whether you're on a Mac or a Windows machine, is you're going to be recording system audio. And I'm not going to go through the paces here and show you how to use the recording functionality. I'm going to assume you know that. But what I'm going to show you how to do is set this up so you can record system audio. Now, firstly, I have this open on my Windows machine. And essentially, to record system audio in my Windows machine, Go down to Recording Devices here once you've opened this recording dialog box. And in that dialog that opens, as you can see it here, go to Recording. And here I would select Stereo Mix. And the Stereo Mix is the title or the name that's given to my sound card. Now, on your machine, it may be something different. And on very old machines, you may not have this capability. So you may need to search around if you have an older machine just to determine whether or not this is possible. But on most new machines, you should have a stereo mix card or the ability to select stereo mix. And that's essentially is what you would do here. You would select that. Once you've selected it, you would then go ahead and start the audio playing that you want to record. And you would start the recording process. And when you're done, you could grab that. So it's essentially that simple. Now. On a Mac, it works pretty much the same, but there's an extra step here. And that is that on a Mac, um, you're going to need to install a utility called Sunflower. And Sunflower basically reroutes the wiring in your Mac and allows you to record system audio because the way a Mac is set up natively, you can't do that. So you're going to have to install this utility called Soundflower and I'll put the URL of Soundflower on the screen for you. You should see it right here as we're speaking. So once Soundflower is installed and you select this button down here, Recording Devices, what you'll see is something that looks like this on your Mac. It'll open up and you'll see your internal mic um, align in perhaps. You'll see Soundflower two channels and Soundflower 64 channel. You're going to select the two channel Soundflower option here. And remember, this is for input. It's not output. It's not sound effects. So essentially what happens is that when you select recording devices on your Mac, your Mac will open this system audio window. And from here, you're going to select Soundflower, which you will previously have had to install. Once you've selected that, you go ahead and close this window. And once you've closed this window, then you would go ahead and start uh, the recording and then you would start playing the page or the song or the video or whatever it is that you want to record. And remember, whether you're on Mac or on Windows, recording system audio means that Song Surgeon will record whatever it is that you hear playing through your speakers. I hope you've found this helpful and we'll see you next week.